welcome. Your presence here is no coincidence. It marks the beginning of a meaningful connection designed to deliver a powerful message from Apostle Joshua Selman right to your doorstep. This message carries the potential to not only bless you, but also ignite inspiration for greatness within you. Open your heart wide and allow your mind to embrace the profound in before we dive deeper. I warmly invite you to actively participate in this significant moment. Show your support by liking the video, sharing it with those around you who may find it valuable, and subscribing to our channel. I speak the staying power over you. You will not fall by the wayside. You will not be ichabod. In the name of Jesus Christ. For those who are weak and weary, downcast and discouraged, find hope. I say it again, find hope, find strength, the grace to return, for someone the grace to pursue, the grace to overtake, and by all means the grace to recover. Let it be released upon you. I call you a victor. I call you a sign and a wonder. His hand is strong upon you. Let this week be a week of blessings for you. Testimonies from Monday to Sunday. Good news from Monday to Sunday. Laughter from Monday to Sunday. Abundance from Monday to Sunday. The ministry of men from Monday to Sunday. In the name of Jesus, you return with testimonies by Sunday. It will be clear from your life that God can help men. Enjoy. Are you learning Koinonia? When you go through any kind of unfavorable season, always focus on the goodness of God. This is a big secret in my life. Don't focus on pain. Don't focus on stories. Don't focus on people, whether people who hurt you. Focus on the goodness of God. Something happens to you when you begin to focus on the goodness of God. It has a therapeutic effect. It can heal you from pain. Are we together now? I'm supposed to be promoted a director, but somebody played politics and they push me away. Every time you see that person who played politics, you will feel like someone give me a knife. You can't be living in that pain. The person is a director. You are the one suffering. Bitterness is like swallowing poison and watching in frustration why the other person is not dying. Men will be men. Wise men will remain wise till they change. Fools will remain fools till they change. Mediocres will remain mediocres till they change. Don't wait for people to change before you become happy and joyful. Always think of the goodness of God. No matter what is wrong in your life or not right in your life, there is something God has done well. Am I right on that? There is something God has done right. Let me give you a big secret. Count your blessings. Every time you want to complain and you are in pain and bitterness, that's what John the Baptist would have done. He wouldn't have died like this. If John the Baptist made up his mind that, well, Lord, thank you for the privilege to have been the one to ordain Jesus. I've been ignored right now. Jesus is not even asking how I'm doing. But nonetheless, I give you praise and I give you glory. You have been good to me. Someone say thank you, Jesus. All my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am made, I will sing of the goodness of God. Very powerful song. Listen. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. Prophesy to yourself. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. Leave all those who hate you. They are not the reason why you are not going forward. That is an extra luggage you want to carry. You are on a flight. Leave all the naysayers and the backbiters and the ill wishers and the Judas is kissing you as a sign. You just leave them. Focus on the goodness of God. Can I tell you, psychologists teach us that focus creates feelings. 
If you are angry right now and I tell you I just transferred 2 million naira, it doesn't matter whether I'm playing or not. What did you hear? 2 million naira. You just smile and say, is it true? You are still very fine, but you are happy. The same way you can stand in the mirror and say it doesn't matter. Listen, I'm sharing with you irrefutable principles. People will look at you and say, Madam, don't you get angry? Are you not a human being in this Nigeria? You tell them, I found a way of the spirit that I can rejoice always, void of offense, void of bitterness. You can walk to your office and find in the middle of people conspiring your downfall and greet all of them. Would you like to have coffee or something? Can I get you something? And they smile at you every time you rejoice in the presence of enemies you heap up coal on them not pretentious joy not ha, 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 you are dying they are seeing you bleed that is fake laughter that is as a result of revelation dominion that your destiny depends on you and god are we together there are some tears that are unnecessary. Respect your tears. Don't shed it carelessly. Go back home tonight and think of the goodness of God. You are still in that one rent, one room. But give God thanks. I have food on my table. Lord, I give you thanks. Are you learning this now? Honestly, if this is what you came to learn tonight, do you know that there are great people who are wounded and have taught you those who refuse to be healed become enemies of their destiny and the destiny of others. Nobody who is healed will wound others. Most people who wound others are people who are trying to heal and they do not know how to heal. So they inflict pain on others to find comfort. It's a psychological principle. When you failed in life, you get angry when you see others excelling. So it's something in your heart wishes that they come down to your level so that you can find comfort. When you bring them down, you now feel bad because you were not wicked, you were just frustrated. Your goodness is running after. Let me advise you here, if you're a man of God or a CEO, don't give yourself headache going around to say, what are they saying about me in this office? Do they like me? What do you think the person you are saying will answer? Say, in fact, they said the other day, ah, you are the only one who... <laughs> you are asking the mastermind of your hatred what they are saying about you. And he said, the last time, I think I heard that uh, they said you are such a nice leader. In fact, they look forward to you becoming GM. You say, you mean it? Even that other man said it, he said, I'm the one, trust me. You now give him something and he becomes an ally. And once you move, he just looks at you with pity and says, what a fool of a leader. Can I tell you, one of the quality of leaders is that they have so built themselves understanding the world of men, almost nothing surprises them. When you find a leader who puts his hand on his head in shock, he was not trained well because leaders understand men. Their strengths and their vulnerabilities that good men can become wicked. They have their will. Wicked men can repent to become champions. So you do not tie the vacillations of men to your growth. Give them an opportunity to be all that they want to be, to explore all the versions of themselves, but maintain your health for the sake of his name and your destiny. Is someone learning? Say, I remain joyful. This is true for ministers, spouses remain joyful joyful in the lord this is my mentality i look at everything that happens around my life from the standpoint of god's love and his sovereign power i'm aware of how jealous god is for me so i interpret everything from a winner's view honestly this is my life truly speaking someone learning get used to men before they break your heart into pieces koinonia hear my advice my dear sister get used to men before they break your heart into pieces i'm not talking in terms of relationship i'm speaking seriously here <laughs> brothers 
get used to men before they break your heart into pieces. Leaders, get used to men. You will always find basis for conflict, betrayal, backstabbing in every organization, including Koinonia. There is no organization that is 100% free of these tendencies. Your assignment as a leader is to culture your people to minimize it. Waiting for perfection to find joy. It's like waiting for the cloud to touch the ground. It will not happen. Has someone grown tonight? Be joyful. Oh. Go back home and rejoice and dance. And somebody looks at you and says, just to let you know you are not coming back to this office again. Why? What did I do? You may feel the pain, but you just remember my sermon. Some of you will hear this, my voice again in the night while you are sleeping. And I will shout it. I say, my friend, stop crying anyhow. Stop crying. Rejoice. I've already taught you here that everybody cannot hate you. Remember? It's a law that does not work for any man. Even Satan is not hated by everybody. I've taught you this. Terrorists have wives. They met somebody as a terrorist and said, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. And the lady said, I agree. Knowing he's a terrorist. There is hope for everybody. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord. It is my strength. Hallelujah. Let me give you number five. We have to end. See why it's good to come to church? It's good to come to Koinonia. Now hear this, to wrap up number four so that you write five, I wrote something here that the Lord ministered to me this afternoon, that joy is one of the greatest demonstrations of faith. Joy is one of the greatest demonstrations of faith. First Peter 1 Peter 1.8 Joy is one of the greatest demonstrations of faith. Here's what the Bible says. Whom have not seen ye love, in whom Though now ye see him not, ye yet believe him, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. You haven't seen it yet. Things have not added up yet. The rent has not come yet. Are we together? But you rejoice. Rejoice. Someone, when you go back home, lock yourself today and laugh and smile and rejoice. Truly. And if you don't know what to rejoice about, think about the five word-based funniest occurrences in your life. Reminisce on them and laugh. Laugh away nonsense. Laugh away childishness. Rejoice. Oh, I remember. One time in the university, I was waiting for school fees. I remember I cried for nothing. And you, before you know it, you are glowing and rejoicing. Yet you have not paid your rent. And because joy is what helps us and brings us into the harvest whilst you are rejoicing god is seeing a man of faith he will wake someone and say send an alert of one million this one million i've been talking about and this two million i've been talking about i've taught you if you don't believe it please allow your neighbor receive in peace <laughs> number five the staying power God is raising joyful people tonight. For someone, 10 people have called you 50 years now, whereas you are 31. That's a message. You are losing joy. He's speaking on your face. Someone looks at you and says, are you in my generation? And you say, are you joking? I'm a, I'm a young man. They say, I can't believe it. You have wrinkled yourself as a result of pain. Share up and glow. Share up and glow. Share up and glow. Share up and glow. I don't care what is working or not working. Number five. Are you ready? The final key I'm going to give you tonight that has been responsible for the longevity of men. Impact. Always keep the vision of your future and your destination before you. 
Keep it higher than every challenge. Keep it higher than every obstacle. I'll take it again. Always keep the vision of your future, the vision of your prophetic destiny before you. Something happens when you see the end. Something happens when you look at the vision. Exalt the vision beyond the challenges. Exalt the vision beyond the vicissitudes of life. And you have the stamina to remain and continue. Philippians 3.13 313 Philippians brethren I count not myself to have apprehended it says but one thing I do forgetting the things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things everybody say those things there are things before you can I give you an example the higher realm of you of you being anointed there are anointings you have not received man of God there are there are churches the globe is still waiting for you for the impact the imprint of God upon your life you must learn to look away look beyond look up reaching forth before the things that are before me I press towards the mark of the high calling in Christ Jesus every calling from God is not a low calling it's only challenges that are on the ground. Challenges come to you at your level, but your calling is usually high because it demands that you rise higher than the challenges. Are you seeing that now? Luke chapter 9 and verse 62. I wish we could find NLT. Luke 9, 62. Let's hurry up. God is speaking to someone tonight. Luke 9, 62. NLT. But Jesus said unto him, No, nope, no going back. Let's finish that scripture. Koinonia, don't tempt me. I will keep you here till tomorrow. The Bible says anyone, watch this. Anyone who puts his hand on a plow and looks back, either because they are calling you, backbiters are calling your name, mediocres and naysayers distracting you from prophecy, or seasons, unfavorable seasons. It says if you do so, you are not fit. always keep the vision of your future it's been a powerful secret in my life open that book again look at what he told you open that book again review his speakings man of God he did not tell you you will come to Abuja and die why do you want to dig the grave he never told you you will come here and fail never told you you will relocate and go to america canada wherever japan wherever no god does not call men and leave them on the way he's a finisher did you ever read that he's called author and finisher say it after me author and that means you will finish i read a book many years ago by steve farah called finishing strong profound book that influenced my understanding no matter how close you are to destiny, if you don't finish, you will stay in the same group with those who did not start. You have come too far. Are we together? You've held the plow ready for harvest in ministry, in business. Refuse to be distracted. The world is full of noisemakers, naysayers, people full of pain. They may not be wicked people, just wounded and confused people hoping they can use your pain to find meaning to their lives don't hate people you to look at them from the lens of their weaknesses and focus on your future aside from joy add vision a visionless man is a defeated man already if nothing ever attacks you you have failed are we together vision gives you focus among the many things that vision gives you is the opportunity to say no to many things including good things that are not pro destiny when satan brings evil things and you easily overcome them he will line up many good things that are not needed in your destiny how many of you know that good things can kill many good things can kill satan use it is written against jesus just because it is good does not mean it is profitable for your destiny there are many good things that can destroy you need to trust the spirit of grace. Vision prunes your relationships. Vision prunes your appetite. 
it prunes the things you can do and the things you cannot do it gives you the focus to be able to say yes if the only thing you reject in your life are bad things you are small you need to reject many good things in your life because Martha Martha can be worried and obsessed about many things her preparing a meal for Jesus was not bad but Jesus said one thing is needful and this Mary has chosen hallelujah ladies and gentlemen these are the secrets that empower believers to stay number one being strong in the Lord capacity and strength that is derived from knowing the God of the Bible number two submitting to the supremacy of the Word of God as final authority in all things and in all matters beyond feelings beyond emotions beyond psychology beyond intellect even beyond spiritual supposedly and visionary experiences number three build inner strength capacity for the journey through prayer men and women who know how to invest in prayer are men who have longevity of impact Four, be joyful goodness i can drum this again void of bitterness void of offense accept humans for the way they are hope for the best hope that they change hope that they find god hope that they improve but until then do not destroy your joy because of men the reality of their humanity will always play out at one point or the other and finally always keep your vision always keep your vision always keep your vision the vision of your future the vision of prophecy the vision of your destination the vision of that which God has called you to do keep it before you every time you are discouraged and there is nothing else around you that inspires you look up let your vision be clear enough if you need to give it a pictorial representation to encourage you do so if God has called you to a global ministry and you need to get them the globe and put it in your office put it before you go ahead God has called you to be an evangelist and you need the map of the world place it on your wall it's a worthy investment whatever you can do by God and under grace to encourage yourself and keep yourself alive that do and here's how the Bible ends it all haven't done all to stand he says stand I mean stand You said stand and you are sitting. You take what the enemy meant for me and you turn it for good. You take what the enemy meant for me. just one prayer tonight our time is up one prayer and then I make the altar call and we're done the one prayer is Lord I obtain the grace to outlast to outlast storms to outlast challenges to outlast vicissitudes to outlast seasons someone pray as simple as this prayer is I obtain grace grace to last I receive the staying power the staying power in ministry the staying power for my business for my career someone by this prayer you need to return back to business a man of God needs to return back to ministry is someone praying return back to your children you need to return back you are a winner for sure at the end of it you win the hand of god insists that you win one minute you are praying from the depth of your heart i obtain grace to last the finisher's grace is with me at work in me i weary storms 
I outdo seasons. I outlast challenges. Oh yes, come on, pray. Nothing in my life that is unfavorable today will remain as it is. But when all is said and done, I will be standing, standing strong, standing victorious, standing graceful. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The altar call and I speak the grace upon you. I want to give you an opportunity for your sake who are, who are still staying a minute or two. I want you to come to the Prince of Peace, the one who can help you. The journey to lasting belongs, it begins by knowing him. You just said that you belong to him. Let's minimize movement. I'm still going to speak over your life. It always gives me joy to lead people to Jesus. This is not religion. It's from my heart. Because the more you give people a chance to know him, the more you give them an opportunity to live out their prophetic destinies. You are in this place, following online across all our expressions, overflows, and you are saying, Apostle, if you will ask me, I will come to make it right with Jesus. Whether you are making that decision for the first time, or you are making that decision, you've made it again and you are rededicating your life. I know there has to be one person. It is that one person I'm speaking to. Someone in this place is angry at the opportunity you have given Satan. And you are saying no more. It cannot happen again. I'm going to count one to five. Wherever you are, very boldly, leave your seat and come stand here. Leave your seat and come and stand here. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Come to Jesus. Come. God bless you. Bless you as you come. God bless you as you come. Hallelujah. Thank you very much for making this noble decision. I appreciate you for the courage to be here. And listen, let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. The Bible declares that whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Those who are making this decision online, as I lead them to this prayer, please join them. Lift your right hand high above your head. Say this after me, Lord Jesus. One more time, as loud as you can, say, Lord Jesus. Tonight, I have heard your word. I love you with all my heart I believe that you are the son of the living God I believe that you died for my sin I believe that you rose again for my justification right now I receive Jesus into my heart as my Savior my Lord and my King I declare that I'm a child of God I go for whatever and backward never amen keep your beautiful hands lifted please father thank you for this once let the power of sin satan hell and the grave be broken over their lives i decree and declare in the name of jesus that you walk in victory from today the grace that keeps the grace that causes to be victorious let that grace rest upon you and from tonight you go forward ever and backward never in jesus name we pray please in the name of jesus this grace to outlast, let it rest on you. I speak the staying power over you. You will not fall by the wayside. You will not be ichabod. In the name of Jesus Christ. For those who are weak and weary, downcast and discouraged, find hope. I say it again, find hope. Find strength. The grace to return. For someone, the grace to pursue, the grace to overtake, and by all means, the grace to recover. Let it be released upon you. I call you a victor. I call you a sign and a wonder. His hand is strong upon you. Let this week be a week of blessings for you. Testimonies from Monday to Sunday. Good news from Monday to Sunday. Laughter from Monday to Sunday abundance from Monday to Sunday the ministry of men from Monday to Sunday in the name of Jesus you return with testimonies by Sunday it will be clear from your life that God can help men in Jesus mighty name we pray give Jesus a big hand clap of praise let's share the grace together in fellowship the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God 
the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercies follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you, Koinonia. See you on Sunday. I am certain that the sermons you've embraced have been a wellspring of blessings, lifting your life and igniting a profound commitment to wholeheartedly serve God. We extend a heartfelt invitation for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, ensuring you remain connected and never miss any upcoming videos by activating the notification bell. Your subscription transcends a mere click. It symbolizes a dedication to continual spiritual growth, enlightenment, and empowerment. Embark on this faith-filled odyssey with us as our channel strives to become a sanctuary for both spiritual seekers and steadfast believers. We staunchly believe in the transformative prowess of God's Word, and our objective is to disseminate messages that deeply resonate with the essence of your soul. Become a part of our community, subscribe, and let the radiant light of divine wisdom, your presence is integral to this uplifting journey, and may the abundant blessings of God overflow in every facet of your life. Amen. Stay connected with us across all our social media platforms at Flaming Channel and explore more on our website at www.flamingchannel.com. Gratitude fills our hearts and may God's abundant blessings continue to grace your life abundantly.